Hey everybody, what's up and welcome to our October top five websites of the month. We're gonna see some really nice, inspiring, cutting edge websites this video. Let's dive right into it. First website that I wanna get started with is this one from The Blind Barber, which is a barber shop and kind of a bar or a cocktail bar or something like this. And basically, they're celebrating 10 years and they've created this really long scroll page telling their story from the beginning to where they are today. And they've used a few simple elements. You know, they basically wanna show here some videos, stories, images, and just put them in kind of a story. Now, they took because this is a really, really long scroll, they took very few elements, for example, the big year that's kind of parallaxing to the left and right as you scroll. Then we have some parallax of photos, just kind of like this one. And then sometimes you would get a section that just sticks and the images just move independently. So they just took these few elements and they've repeated them. You know, here we have the parallax over and over again. So by just using very, very, I would say minimalistic types of interaction, they've created a really fun and they've combined them in ways that are really, it doesn't look boring to scroll through this every time something else would happen and just keeps you engaged in the story. So I really, really like the way they did this. Again, very simple interaction elements, but create something that looks very, very unique, fun to explore, fun to read through. So very, very nice work from the blind barber. Of course, you can navigate through these click throughs. So anyway, I think this is really, really nice work. And you can see that you don't have to have tons of money or something super complicated or 3D or something just by using the interactions in the right way creates a very fun experience. So the next one is kind of a combination or a partnership between Foot Locker and Adidas. Basically, I think it's a Foot Locker website that's promoting Adidas um, products, but they've took the use of 3D um, in this website. So everything, this is not like a video. This is something that really interacts and you can see I can rotate this using my mouse. They really took 3D here to the next level in terms of real-time rendering as you scroll. Um, they've created something really, really nice that you can scroll to the left to move between the product and it's really, really cool. The transition kind of like brrr, things are falling apart when you scroll. Now note, this is a website that kind of wants to create the desire for these products. This is not the actual e-commerce website. If you wanna shop, you actually go here and you can jump into the Foot Locker website to actually buy with a normal e-commerce website. So this is just a website. And by the way, I've muted the music, but it's got like, yeah, kind of, nice hip hop in the background. I don't know, is music coming back to websites? I This trend, I don't like that much. But anyway, I really like how they kind of separated the actual you know, purchase of e-commerce where it needs to be super functional with this website that wants to create desire and sh show the product in a very unique and very, very cool way. So good job from Foot Locker on this very cool website. The next website is a brand called Later Letter, and basically this is a banking solution for you know rich people. Now this website here we do have kind of a video that's scrolling together with your scroll position, probably using Lodi or something like this. But what I really like about this website is basically the art direction they've made kind of conceptually a very simple decision, basically saying, all right, so let's use the element. Right, this is bank for rich people. So let's take a card and put it inside of a diamond. And this diamond, as you can see, when you scroll, it kind of creates these colorful refraction within the diamond. And so let's use this element of refraction to uh, repeat it by using kind of gradient colors, which are similar to the refractions over the text. And so the art direction here is very, very nice. They've reused these elements and like here, check this out. This is really nice. You can be very, very creative with a very, very simple object like a card. Let's think, how can we animate it? How can we transform it? How can we create motion in something that is truly visually beautiful and mesmerizing? I really, really like this. Also, the, the type, the type choice here. I really like this. This font is really, really unique and very, very kind of boutique. So I feel like it's on the edge between sans serif and serif. You got it a little bit, but it's it's very nice. Looks very, very boutique. -y. And again, this is art direction for people with a lot of money. This has to look premium. And I think they've kind of 
taken this to the to the luxury um, art direction way. So looks like if Apple would get into banking, which they are a little bit, by the way. Um, so yeah, uh, this is how it probably would look like. So really good work on the brand and on the art direction on this website. The next website is Google's new Pixel 5 landing page, which is also a page, you know, that <laughs> I have to say, I really enjoy scrolling through this. Um, it's very, very simple, very, very minimalistic. And I would say also kind of reminds me of Apple. Besides the fact that they're using, you know, their their googly colors and stuff like that. Um, I, I think you can see in a lot of the website in this one and in this one as well, you can see the inspiration from Apple product pages, which just stands to show that still, even in web design, besides product design and software and stuff like that, even in web design, they're still kind of putting the, the edge, Apple is putting the edge in terms of web design. But I think when you look at this page at the Pixel 5, I mean, Google are still doing a very well-designed adaptation of this style of product pages. And this page looks very nice. We have here the, you know, reveal transition, which we have seen trending in a lot of website right now. And they're using it kind of with their background color. So, you know, they, they've managed to create a very, very trendy and uh, nice slick looking website using their own kind of brand twist on them. And this is actually an e-commerce website because you can pre-order from here. So nice work from the Google team. The last one that I wanna show you is actually, so this is a website for student housing somewhere in, in London. And it's not that the website is that amazing, but they've just really created a fantastic, kind of video on the hero. So note, you don't see anything, but we're seeing the video from the middle here. But if you, when we'll get to the end of it, basically they just wanna give you the vibe of how students are living in their, you know, in their dorms thing. So, you know, here we are at the end, we'll see the beginning in a second. So this isn't a student living, it's just living, right? So they're, they've found a way and the art direction here is very, very, you know, simple. If if I think of how they did this, they've probably rearranged a very long set. They've sent the camera rolling super, super fast on slow motion. So everything here is in mid action. And this is just so good. It really, it tells a story. It looks like fun. You wanna see all the different scenes here between parties and studying and playing music and all of that stuff. It's just super, super fun way. So note, even before I'm continuing to scroll here, which the rest of the website is good, but how important is that first experience, that video, that story that you tell with your hero? I think it's super, super important and it's really well done the way they did this here. I also think the copy here is nice. Status quo doesn't make great leaders or change the world. You know, it's just, you know, we're living, we're raising the standards of student living. This is what we are. It's very nice. I mean, the rest of the website is, nice but what i really liked is the way that they were telling their story with the video the one thing though that sucks a little bit is that on my screen the video is just a little bit pixelated but i guess they had to kind of have the trade-off between super high quality video that would take so long to load they had to optimize this is what they chose and it still works i mean it would be awesome if they could find a way to you know maybe increase the the quality once the video is loaded or something but Overall, I really, really like the creative idea behind this website. So that's all for today. Let me know which website you like best. If there's anything that you wanna technically know how to accomplish on your own website, if you have any website that you want us to look at and review, let us know in the comment below and we'll catch you on the next video.